All right. Hello, all. Welcome. Um, since it is 11, I will go ahead and get started. So as we wait for people to trickle in, I'll go ahead and go over some housekeeping items. By the way, Alessandra here, and I am from the Developer Experience Engineering team. All right, so some important things to know as we go through this webinar. Um, first, please use the chat as you I, as I noticed some of you have already been doing. Um, we'll do that for discussions. If you have any questions, you can use the Q&A feature and I'll get to those questions at the end. Lastly, if you could please fill out our welcome form. I'll go ahead and share that in the chat. All right, now before we get started, I just wanna share some quick resources with you all that might come in handy. So everything we'll cover is available in our monetization documentation page. The way to get to this is to go to our API docs. Once you're here, if you go to our apps framework documentation specifically, we have a monetization guide where you'll find everything we'll cover today. You can also lean on our developer community, which is at community.monday.com. And lastly, you can always um, email our support team for more dedicated assistance. Great. So without further ado, let's talk about why we're here today. So today we'll talk about the apps framework specifically the monetization part of our apps framework. We'll go over what monetization is, how to implement it, why, why to monetize, as well as the benefits and other useful details to, as, um, in regards to monetization. All right, we'll also talk about the apps marketplace, the flow your app should follow with monetization, the different plans you can offer and how pricing on Monday works, the webhooks you can expect to have access to, and the different SDK methods and API queries you can make to implement monetization on your application. So let's go ahead and dive right in. First, let's go over the Monday Marketplace. You can access the Marketplace by locating the board power ups button on the top right-hand corner of your Monday account right here. This is my demo account, for example. In the marketplace, you can find applications that will let our users customize their Monday work OS, making their workspace all the more powerful and connected. These applications can add layers of flexibility to the already existing functionality that Monday has. And this functionality can be big or small. We have applications, for example, that can make currency or time conversions and other changes to specific columns within a board. We also have bigger solutions, which can perform actions across boards and even third-party platforms, allowing users to connect their work on Monday with the other software they may use. But whether that functionality is big or small, the goal is ultimately the same, and it's to provide a more seamless experience for our users. So with the apps framework, you as a developer have the power to build your own applications and bring new features that have pride of place in our platform and sit next to native features. Great. So now that you know about our marketplace, let's talk about monetization within it. You may be wondering what exactly is monetization? Simply put, it's the ability to accept payments from your users directly through Monday. It's also the ability to display your plans and your pricing options in one central place. That place being one where users can learn about your app, install it, subscribe. This may all sound great, but why should you? Let's talk about it. To start, using Monday monetization can help increase the amount of trust a user has in your application. You don't have to take money directly from the user and they don't have to ask themselves whether you're trustworthy, as the payment will be happening on Monday and not through a third party. 
monetizing on Monday also saves you a bit of development effort. You can enjoy the ease of not having to create, maintain, or rely on a third-party payment system. As an app developer, this gives you more time to focus on supporting and improving your application. Monday monetization also handles the entire payment and billing process, including VAT and currency conversions, giving you one less thing to worry about. All of this gives our users a seamless payment experience, saving them the step of having to navigate to another platform to subscribe to your application. And it's also quite easy to implement. It really boils down to these four steps. First, you'll create a pay in your account, which is how you'll receive your earnings each month. You'll also fill out a quick form to become a Monday vendor. In the third step, you'll come up with the different plans you'd like to offer and at what price, as well as build the business logic that can interact with our platform. I'll go into more detail about that in a bit. And lastly, you'll submit your app for review. Sounds easy enough so far. Let's go over the different plan types you can offer with monetization. So we offer two different pricing models. We have a feature-based model and a user bucket model. Within these two models, you can support a maximum of six plans and you can offer monthly and yearly pricing plans. Let's go over the feature-based plan. This plan is great for those applications that can come in simple forms as well as more advanced versions. Take, for example, a time tracking app. With this kind of app, you can offer, say, a basic plan that limits the number of time entries a user can make. You can also offer a pro plan, for example, that offers unlimited time entries and more advanced time tracking abilities. On the other hand, we also have the user bucket plan. This plan is great for those applications that have usage and capacity limits to take into account. Take, for example, an application that relies on third-party software functions that have an associated cost, such as outside databases and other APIs. These applications will rely on user buckets to make sure they can meet the user's demand and also afford the cost of doing business. One important thing that I want to call out about both the feature-based and the user bucket pricing model is that you must implement the logic to check the number of users on your application. For example, an account admin could have 20 users on their Monday account and subscribe to your application with a 20 user plan, but nothing will stop them from adding more users to their Monday account in the future. So your application must always make sure the number of users on your application aligns with the selected plan. Awesome. So now that you're an expert on the pricing and the plans that we offer, let's talk about how to implement this on your app. Essentially, you'll want your application to adhere to the following flow. <clears throat> First, you'll check the status of the user subscription. And given that user subscription, you'll enable and disable features according to the plans you've determined. And finally, you'll prompt the user for payment if it's time for an upgrade. Now, let's go ahead and take a look and see what this looks like in action. I'll walk you through how you can implement this and test this flow next. So what we'll do now is I'll make a mock subscription to mimic what you'll see when a user subscribes to your application in real life and what you can do with that information. Okay, so I'll be using a demo application that implements monetization. I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like from the beginning. So I have this demo application. Let's go ahead and visit here. So what I'm doing right now is I am 
looking for the subscription to see if there are any subscriptions active right now. We have not made one, so I've chosen to display no subscription found. The way you can see um, this, the way I'm able to determine that there is no subscription, I can go ahead and show you the project we have, is I'm using our SDK to get the context of this application. This will give me the subscription data. And because there is no subscription, I'm displaying this message. And by the way, this is a React app. So we'll go ahead and show you some more. So let's go ahead and mimic what would happen when someone subscribes to your application. So in order to test this, what you can do is you can use our set mock app subscription query. And you'll go ahead and provide your app ID, the last 10 digits of your signing secret. You'll pass in whether this is a trial plan or no, as well as a renewal date and a plan ID that you'll come up with. In this case, I want to sign up this user for a small plan. So let's go ahead and run this query and we receive confirmation that we've made this mock subscription. Now in my application and what you'll want to do in your application is enable and disable features according to what this small plan comes with. So in the case of my application, we'll go ahead and refresh it. What I do is I basically grant this blue square according to whichever plan this user has signed up for. Of course, this is a very uh, simple and naive way to do it, but this is to illustrate how you should um, enable and disable features according to what plan the user has signed up for. So one thing I'm doing here is now I have a subscription and this is the information you can expect to get when a user subscribes. The subscription object will come with the plan ID, the renewal date, that whether it is a trial, what billing period the user signed up for, and how many days left they have in their trial. This is also the payload of the context in which this application is running. And this is all the information you can expect to receive. And just to remind you, the way I'm getting this is by using our SDK, the monday.get method, asking for context, taking that response and getting the subscription data from it. Another neat thing that our monetization framework provides is the ability to open plan selection. This is great for say when, a, when it's time to upgrade and you want to prompt your user to look at your pricing plan. We can go ahead and actually test this out, but in this testing environment, because this is not a real application in the marketplace, nothing will load. But once you do this in real life, what you'll get is a pricing page that looks similar to this. And this can be done. Um, I'll go ahead and reference where you can find this information, but we have this SDK method that will let you open plan selection. Great, so that is all for the flow that your application should follow in order to implement monetization check the user subscription and given that subscription, enable and disable features um, given the plan that they have signed up for. Okay, now let's go over some other great features of the apps framework that will come in handy when it comes to managing your subscriptions. We offer app lifecycle webhooks, so you can be notified when a user installs or uninstalls your app, as well as creates, changes or cancels a subscription. 
This is not only useful for handling the monetization flow and granting features, but also provides valuable information about user actions, which can be used for marketing emails and other efforts to engage your users. Whether it's welcoming or parting ways with the user, Webhooks makes it easier to keep track of it all. Okay, now to wrap it all up, let's go over some frequently asked questions. We often get asked, can I extend trials, provide discounts? The answer to both of those questions is yes. In your app configuration page on Monday, you'll be able to see the admin controls necessary to extend trials and provide discounts to your users. So payments to you will happen on a monthly basis and the process to receive payments is simple. Monday will provide a report with your subscription details. Based on this report, you will invoice Monday for your earnings and then Monday will pay you. As for the payments you'll receive, they'll be in US dollars. Before we leave you, I just wanna go ahead and leave you with some resources to reach us. So for general questions, you can always email support at monday.com. Um, please, please join our developer community if you haven't already at community.monday.com. Um, that's another place where you can reach us and look at previously asked questions. And lastly, for apps framework and API specific questions, you can email app support at monday.com. All right. And if there is nothing else, we'll go ahead and close this out. Um, as I said, I'll go ahead and share the, the example project um, as well as these slides with you in an email. Thank you so much for, for joining us today. Have a great day. Thanks so much, y'all. Bye.